Uh, I think he's off doing something somewhere. And I need to send something real quick. Then I need to actually announce it, the whole thing, but... Oh well. <clears throat> uh, hi there, mate. Silverpire here today, and today... We have Jay, we have Michael, we have myself, and we have Will. Yay! Hello! And today, hopefully some interesting things happen. I hope. Also, I did notice that I only named seven locations. I think I may have done that by accident. Oh well. I have fixed the problem. Maybe. So, so. Let's just fix it. So, without a further ado, let's begin, shall we? And I forgot to get my phone. Yeah. <clears throat> Where we last left off... The party has just went through the dreaded Mad Wizard's Dungeon. They have killed the undead. They have found out what tri uh, truly lies underneath the mask of the Executor. And welcome back. And now, we find ourselves... Uh, after revealing the location of the entrance to the Magic Academy, they are immediately sending uh, mages to go down there and to investigate. And I'm pretty sure you guys would have given them the code in order to make it the trip a lot faster. Right. So, with that said, let's get back into the scene. We find ourselves outside. Shortly after one mage basically grabbed the skull. But surprisingly enough, they didn't notice the slime attached to your uh, attached to your boots because it changed color to match your armor. Yep. In fact, you didn't even notice it on, on how well it did it. That Until it starts shimmering in the sun. You know, like, look how liquid and Oh, there's not even a shimmering. Like, it looks like oh. it was just legitimate metal. If it wasn't for, like, it moving here and there, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Ooh. Oh, well, that's useful. Useful indeed. Um. So. Do you guys take a look at the map? Um, <laughs> I say, I yeah. Do. Uh, as you guys look at the map, you notice the one from the desert has definitely moved f way out of the desert. <coughs> like, oh yeah, Fletcher's still off doing his own thing. Like he's currently not present. Yeah, Fletcher is off doing his own thing as well, which we'll be getting to, as well. All right. So, uh, you notice that the heart fragment is still on the move, but it's going to somewhere just known as the maze or labyrinth. All right. Um, Executor is going to do a history check to see if he knows anything. All right. Roll history. All right. One moment. Hold on. Uh, I rolled a uh, 14. Uh, yep. You do get some general knowledge of the Labyrinth. You do know that it was founded by a cultist of Kundar, who wanted to bring back their Dark Lord in order to destroy the, this plane of existence and all as well as other planes of existence. But huh. unfortunately... Little information is known about this cult 
mainly because the cult immediately disappeared after the construction of the maze or labyrinth. Ah, I recognize this place. It is the labyrinth. It was uh, constructed by a cultist of uh, Kundar a while back. Yes, I am aware that the labyrinth was constructed by cults of the like. However, there is one other region I'm curious about. And uh, Charlie points out the ruins. That uh, we have yet to get there. However, it, the last I remember, it takes two weeks. So I wonder, which one would be quicker, the maze or the ruins? Uh, the maze is a bit closer, and the ruins is about a week from that. Of course, they're from di they're in different directions, but it's generally a week from the maze to the ruins, and vice versa. Well, hmm. so I suggest we go to the labyrinth first. It'll take about. I suggest a we go to the labyrinth first. Uh, we have no idea what to, is there. Yep. Wait, can you uh, can you repeat that? Because you guys kind of jumbled onto each other. All right, I'll be quiet. Uh, I believe we should go to the labyrinth first, as we have no clue of what is there, and or oh, and plus it is close. Well, I can get, understand that it's closer, but uh, what do you mean by we don't know what's in the labyrinth? What in uh, that well, imply we should go to the ruins first? Not, not known as much, not no, not much is known about the labyrinth. For all we so, know, there could be a weak fall. We know there could be a large monster in there. So, why should we go to the labyrinth first if we know nothing about it? Well, uh, clear it up, and we'll f and we'll soon find out what is in there. I, Charlie is just staring at. The executioner. He's just looking at this, just completely. Not it's not Abigail executioner. Said, it's, exec it's executor. It does not matter. It rides with ex executioner. I will not. Uh, all right, executor. Enforcer, dude. All right, executor. So, how do you propose we attack the labyrinth? If we do not know what's inside it, shouldn't we get information? Well, first? I don't think we can attack the location itself, but I believe we can attack whatever's in it. Yes, but shouldn't we ask or at least find out who knows about the labyrinth first? Like I said, not, not, not much is known about it. Uh, what I told you now is just basically common knowledge and uh, what we mostly know. Uh, roll a history check, Executor. Okay. Okay. You do know that there ha was one adventurer that did go there and came back and described uh, absolute horrors and whatnot of the maze. Or labyrinth, as most people call it. Oh, now that, now that you mention it, there was one person that went in and survived. Come on. Uh, you tell. I believe he, uh, though I believe he did go insane. I'm not sure. Charlie sighs for a minute. Well, not a minute, but for a good second and stays silent for a minute. Silent for a minute. Well, I suppose we. I, I suppose the labyrinth. I suppose the labyrinth is closer. That much is true. But perhaps we should. But there is a chance something. I suppose easier might be in the ruins. But if you were that hard pressed to head to the labyrinth, I can only wonder why you wish to go there first. Perhaps it's some personal quest. Ah uh, no. No, it is a quest. It is a quest of. I would say it is a quest of religious fervor. 
Mm, well, I cannot uh, deny one's religion. I suppose we can uh, venture towards the uh, labyrinth now. Ah, uh, yes. Anyway, is everyone out? Anyone else against this? All right. So I guess he, we'll go. He, asks, he basically asks around. Uh, he asks around if anyone else is against. Yeah. It. yeah no. No. No one's against it. Okay. Uh, uh, the sorry. challenger is not opposed to this. All right. Speaking of, All I right. have something planned. I, I suggest. Uh, I suggest we find. I, I, uh, wait. Yeah. Would executor like would would a uh, would a uh, chaplain ever tell executor about like. Uh, like Fletcher and uh, Steel Brew. Um. Well, you never really, you never really ask, so. Probably I not in that regard. Speaking of, uh, let's go to Steel Brew real quick. Uh, Steel Brew, here's what happened to yeah. you during the last session when you were away. Uh, the succubus basically kind of dragged you off, and she took you to the jewelry district. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's just kind of. She was just kind of going in and out of shops, just like looking at jewelry. Oh my god, you really became a shopping mule. And she's just been dragging you along. Shopping mule. And then okay. when she found something, she of course buys what looks to be a nice, lovely necklace for herself. I didn't. I didn't buy it for her. Did no, 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 no. <laughs> she bought it with <laughs> her own money. <laughs> I can't help but imagine this like tiny ass dwarf is carrying this mountain of jewelry bags. Actually, I uh, no, actually, it's just the one. It's just the one jewelry piece. Hold on, uh, Silver. Uh, may I uh, tell you about a little reference? Uh, yes. Okay. Have, do you know Bayonetta? Anyway. Yes. I know imagine, of her. Yeah, imagine Bayonetta 2. The intro of Bayonetta 2, and that's essentially uh, Rohan. That's essentially Steel as Rohan. Yeah. Anyways. I have not seen the intro to 2. I have not played them. I only know of her. Oh, don't, don't worry. You can do it in your own time. Anyways. Uh... Once she buys the necklace, she then drags you off into the magic district where you saw Fletcher and the chaplain, but you didn't bother talking to them. They just seem to be busy with something else. Mm -hmm. uh, she basically drags you to a tavern. Ooh, okay, now we're talking. Yeah. Stop. And she drags you upstairs. Oh, God. Not very forcibly. And she goes, oh, no. I'm going to need some of your blood. As you guys she, have a, your own room and everything. She wants your opinion, man. She wants your opinion. No, 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 no. She wants her blood. And I'm his sorry, opinion. but before I give you any of my blood, I'm going to have to ask what you want it for. Okay, you know how I bought the necklace <laughs> and went to the magic okay. district and bought a few scrolls, yes? Yes. Okay, so I know of a way to allow me to stay on this plane and not be bothering you. Okay. Problem is, is that I have to have a drop of blood on a <laughs> necklace and perform a certain ritual in order to stay here. Does it have to and be? And what happens if it doesn't work? <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. Does the ritual what involve is this doesn't? It doesn't require anything. I just only require a drop of your blood. That's all I ask, and then I'm out of your hair forever. Pin okay, but if it doesn't work, what might happen there? Um. Die. Well, die. honestly, <laughs> a, oh. honestly, a demon god power ups out and tries to possess you. 
I can't help but imagine. We should talk about this plan a bit first. I can't help but imagine a fucking. I can't imagine. I can't help but imagine this is like just burly grizzly leprechaun. It, 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 it should work. It should work. I know it works. Why do I feel a little uncomfortable? I don't exactly like, trust this voice. Plan. Michael's voice for Steel Brew reminds me so much of a fucking leprechaun. It does. He, he is a leprechaun, man. All of his characters are Irish. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I had the one that was Scottish. The same, Dean. They're both from North Europe. I <laughs> think, both I think we just offended all of United Kingdom. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you formed up the Northern Europe. You're from North. Oh uh, boy. Okay. Uh, well, one's drunk and one you can't even understand. Are you saying that they're not both drunk? Yeah, they can both be drunk, but one's more <laughs> famous for. True, true. Anyways, she says, "I I, I know it'll work. I, it rarely ever fails." I don't really trust the key word there is rarely. Keyword being rarely. Like a point zero zero one percent chance. Okay. And that's still a chance. And that's a demon. Uh, trying to possess your body. There that and that's still a chance. What does this what this like point one percent chance fucking happens? And since you're from the material plane, I need a blood from a person that I've made a deal with in order to stay here. And so far, you're the only one I made a deal with. All right. So, I'm begging you to at least donate a small portion of your blood. It's not much, it's just some. Alright. Little pin. Per- yep, she pulls out a pin, pricks your just fingers, uh, you lose uh, one hit point. No, a single drop of blood would not equate, equate to a hit point, dude. No, but the amount she needs is... Uh, about a point's worth. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's not permanent. By the way, it's not permanent. You can heal this uh, one hit point. By the way. By the way, if this pawn goes, I blame you. Uh, she starts doing uh, the ritual, lights up some candles, and she has the necklace in the center. Uh. With your blood in the actual uh, gem stone that's on it, as it starts to glow and hover within the air. Wait a minute. Wait a cotton picking minute. Uh, How do I actually know these scrolls are just scroll are actually scrolls for her to just get out of my hand? How do I know she's not cooking something up that might you know, harm everybody on her? Some shit like that. Alright. Well, there's me. There's me to keep her in... Actually, hold on. Maybe you should have asked me to keep her in check or something. I am a part of... Partially... Actually, exe- executioner, executor, and me to keep you in watch. But it's kind of... Oh, yeah. By the yeah, way... William, the why book... the hell did your name sound like a goddamn Pokemon? <laughs> By the way, executor and chaplain, you sent something going down uh, that's not very friendly. Hey, I hey, sent hey, me about a book. So let us, let us roll. Let us roll for that first, please. I'd like to see what happens if we don't. Oh, so fair I enough. Like, yeah, I'm gonna roll. Uh, I don't even have paladin level. Anyways, all right. Uh, you I'm guys, uh, I can't do that, you know, define sense. Let me describe what's happening, please. Uh, right. As you guys Sorry. run and enter this tavern to go up the stairs, people will just like look at you like, okay. Uh, Steel Brew, 
There's a blind, there's a white blinding flash as this ritual has come to its completion. And as soon as you hear the door basically break down, the ritual is complete. There are no demons other than the succubus. Obviously. Uh, you guys see this bright flash of light coming from the door as you guys break in. As well, you, I'm more like as walk you, in, but no. No, you guys like fully break in. You bust down the door. Can the executor break the door and I walk in behind him? No, you guys were running. Fine, okay. <laughs> Have it your way. Yeah, like, literally, literally Executor's eyes just blow a gr a, like a bright blue. Uh, there are no demon you gods or anything like that of the sort. Uh, you see the side uh, but, like, go... his eyes are just blowing like a pure, like a pure bright blue that you can see through the helmet. Yeah. Like, uh, she the helmet. picks up the gla uh, she picks up the necklace and puts it on. And she goes, okay, Steelbrew, uh, command me to go away. Go away. Uh, literally, she... literally raises the shield and smacks it. <laughs> and just does, and does this little monster. Uh, she doesn't disappear from the side. She goes, yes, it worked. Aha. I no longer have to fear going back to that stinking in room. Alright, great. Now we can get to go our separate way. Yep. Good riddance. And she looks over to the executor and the chaplain. Chaplain, she knows the executor. She's, you, she's never seen you. And she looks like a human currently. Oh, I know better. <laughs> yeah, you sense the energy of the succubus coming from the woman. Yeah. Yeah, and he just does his mantra. Yeah, he just does the mantra. Um. One second. Hi. I am the seal. I am the hand. Whoa, 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 okay, chill, dude. Chill, dude? Is that what he said? No, that's what she are said. A, by chance, are you a dimensional jumper other than from hell? No! Hey, he's, he's, literally just pa he just literally pauses for a moment with his mace raised, just like... Look, I'm uh, not that kind of succubus. I don't like doing things that succubus do. I've met a lot of succubus at this point, and I'm not really surprised that they all say that now. No, there are soggy businesses that absolutely love. You just met the lucky ones. Please do not do not talk to me about soggy businesses. You either leave quickly or you risk annihilation. I am Enough gonna leave. Necessarily. I, I am gonna leave. I just didn't want to go be stuck in a in room for the rest of the, my days. All right, now leave. I am. And Charlie just Charlie just. Well, if you if you two cock wobbles will get out of the way, she can leave. I was, I was never near the door, man. Calm down, Steve. Uh, Good. She Good. she walks past by you, and down the stair. You see her like turn a corner, and you guys don't see her anymore. Thank fucking God! Finally, she's out of my hair. Uh, well, more uh, out of your beard. I doubt you have much in no way to speak of hair. Hold on a fucking mo- Hold on a moment. What in the- What in the bringer's name just fucking happened? What do you mean? He's just in pure shock and awe that that succubus did not, like, retort, like- like, oh, a cleric or something like that. Eh, she's a really... Let's just say she's a really old succubus stuck on Earth. She's kind of tired of it. 
Okay. I'm just not. All right, I, you two ball sacks. Let's get out of here. I'm just not used to that. That, that was new for me. Welcome to the bandwagon. Get ready for more new items to appear in front of your face. Okay. Uh, okay. The challenger's what like, the what the fuck? Like she has hey, a um, she has that what the fuck look on her face. I feel the same way. Yeah, if only you had a face. Eh, hey, don't say that out loud. All right, you bunch of ball sacks, let's get out of here. I don't have. You, you were certainly one for balls, aren't you? Fine, we'll move. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is Fletcher <laughs> doing? <laughs> Um, I think he was in the ta I think he was just drinking at the at that very tavern. I think he's and getting he just, I think he's these two giant armor clad men. And I, I he starts he, upstairs and he hears yelling like five seconds later I, he's like the actual fuck. Yeah, and then you see the sucky bears coming down the stairs and walking out of the door. And then you see these guys, you see the, your the your compatriots come down the stairs again. And I'll, and I see like this ran and I see this black clad armored guy, this black armored clad guy just with them just like what in the actual fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say you guys are talking while walking at this point. Fletcher just goes up to them like, "What in the actual fuck does you guys do?" I could ask you the same thing. What were you doing? Where were you? Getting high? Drinking? Like well, I was just peacefully uh, drinking at the bar. I was peacefully drinking at the bar, England, and then I see you two for. I see you two are uh, like you you two iron adults. Just fucking charge up the stairs. Well, maybe yes, then I see the drinking. Go down. If you weren't drinking like a thirsty man in the middle of the desert, maybe you understand there's a bit of an exorcism going on. Uh, is that what was going on? I suppose, and that's what I could assume. Uh, Fletcher, please roll a constitution save. I want to see how drunk you are. No, he wasn't drinking that much. He was just doing, like, light drinking, you know? Yeah, but <laughs> still roll it just in case. Well, is the Constitution safe for how high are you? Or both. No, he was drinking. Not, he, he was drinking, not hot, uh, smoking. All right. Uh, and the, the drink was... Ah! The drink was uh, <laughs> that's not oh, the executor. Yeah, that's... No, like... yeah, yeah, sorry. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong guy. That was what okay, I was going you got lucky, boy. You got real lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you could still probably draw back a few. Yeah, well, well, I guess that's well. I guess my, I guess my happy hour is done. Yeah, the bar, the bar, the bar. Yeah, like happy hours. The bartender yeah. is just giving you drink after drink after drink, and you're still going. And I imagine that you weren't paying attention as a uh, steel brew and the succubus came in, but as soon as the two iron dolts, as Fletcher said, can't basically bust through the door, then you basically turned your head. But, and uh, kind of small. Anyway, and then, uh, anyway uh, let me go pay for my tab, then we'll go. Uh, the lady's going to stop you and she says, oh, no, no, no charge. Why? Because I think you're cute. Okay. Roll inside. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> uh, you don't get what this human steel is. I I, 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 pay, I pay for I pay for the drinks anyway. I give like a gold. Uh, yeah, she's gonna like, 
Well, the drinks were a lot more expensive than that, but... Oh. Can, can, I, can, I, can I roll inside as well? Uh, yes, you can, Chaplain. How, how expensive were the drinks? Uh, Chaplain, you get a sense that she was trying to flirt with him, and it just utterly failed. And... Uh... It's about so. Anyway, it's about it's worth the break. It's about like ten gold worth. Seriously, for for drinks? Well, you did get at least five drinks. Yeah, but usually drinks are like a silver, aren't they? It depends like a, on the... like a single pint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the drink, though. Well, shit. And she has some decent stuff, so. She gave well, you I don't know about any of you, but I'm gonna get to fucking drink. Oh, yeah. Keep up. Hey, dwarf. I may what? not like you. I may not. I may not like you. Like you guys. But I will tell you this: one drink of to another. Be careful on how much you drink here. She charges. She charges very expensive. Uh, actually, you see the prices for. All the different elements, like the very cheapest thing she's got, is like about a silver each. The fuck was I drinking? Uh, you were drinking the second to most expensive. Why? She was trying to Can flirt you with you. Yeah. You're you're a high elf, man. Yeah. What else? She, she was trying All to get. Right. Well, was, I don't care about any. She was trying to get with you. But your Fletcher would not have caught that. Yeah. Yeah, he's not really caught up on the modern, ta um, like more modern terms of flirtation. Yeah. Uh, Rocky! You are, yes. I'll take a whiskey. Uh, she... Pulls you out basically a mug and pours an entire glass of whiskey into it. How much? Uh, for whiskey, it's about a gold piece each. Okay. And that's the mugs. So I'm down one gold piece. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks, anyway, you two, you two adults, you two adults done uh, going on a religious rampage. I'm gonna drink all my sorrows away. You and me, boy. As uh, she then says, "Ahem, I would like for you what? guys to kindly leave." Yeah, we hey, were. Hey, hey, truck. Yes, we we were about to leave. Don't worry. Let's go. Let's go, you two iron dog. Uh, she looks down to you, uh, Steel Brew, and she says, "You can keep the muck. I have plenty." Hey, I did nothing wrong. All I did was order a. Yes, I know you didn't do anything wrong, but uh, we're almost on closing hours. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Sorry, not my role, it's just the owners. Well, who's the owner? Mm hmm, some wizard. Some wizard? Ugh, never could stand wizards. Then why do you work for a witch? Because she actually pays me. Other wizards I've met before were a bunch of pricks. Mm. So what if a wizard were to pay you? I might actually like. Okay. Yeah, I Good imagine much. you guys are having this conversation. I, I, got, a, I got it. I kind of. I got a feeling the only reason Steel Brew works for the wit. It... I feel like the only reason Steel Brew works for Lady Lady Lydia is because I candy. Wow. Well, no, that... it's because she gives me money. Oh yeah, she she pays you a pretty money good coin. Is I candy to Steel? <laughs> Unlike any of the other bastard wizards I've met. Uh, some wizards have actually paid for their services for 
for you. Uh, hold on. Some have, but not all. Uh, hold on. I got so I got a call. Ocean. This is good for me. Ah, uh, sorry about that. My aunt called. Anyways, uh, I imagine you were having this conversation while you're on the road and whatnot. Yeah. Anyways, continue. Uh, so where are we going? We are going to the labyrinth. Labyrinthian. The labyrinth. Oh, the hate mazes. Yeah. All right, so... All right, it, well, we're not going to get there just talking around, just sitting here, John. Let's get going. No, you guys We'll are... walk in and talk in, you short bastard. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, roll me a flat 1d20. Uh, anyone that wants to. Okay. I did it. 18. Okay. Um, Honestly, Chaplin is just the default leader here. I need everyone to roll me a perception check. Alright. But yeah, Chaplin, you're, yeah, Chaplin's just the default leader. Oh, oh, oh damn! Not two natural twenties. Let's get a triple. Let's get a triple, boys. Let's get a triple. Ah, oh. oh, that would have been amazing. Well, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Will Jackie Tour get a triple? Let's get a triple. Come. Let's hope for the triple. Ah, oh, oh, so close. It's still pretty high, though. Yeah, you guys, yeah. all of you guys, spot this. Uh, you notice what looks to be a very, rather large lake in the middle of the path. Uh, there's, seems to be no animals around it. There is something in the distance. You see what looks to be a shape of a person or statue. You're not sure. But with your natural 20s, though... You do see this person just kind of staring at the lake. Uh, they are a male about seven foot five. A uh, Goliath. Gee. Ah, that explains. Uh, he seems to be wearing what looks to be a uh, well-plated armor. His sword has cracks in it. This guy has seen many conflicts. Uh, his cape is torn. That's all you see from his backside, because he's not looking towards you. Hmm. All right. I'm, uh, Charlie's gonna go up to him. You'll go, Mr. Giant. All right, I'm going to try to hail the Goliath. As you are about to say something, you see the water shift. As if it was just moved. Whoa. Uh, you see something come out of it. You see what looks to be a cloud giant coming out of it. Uh, 
uh, out of the water. Uh, the water that was there just kind of falls down and it becomes a very rather small puddle. As you hear, <laughs> as the Goliath starts attacking this cloud giant. Mm. Well, I think we're fighting now. Uh, well, come on then. As you guys get closer, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, hold, yeah, hold on, guys, hold on, guys. <laughs> I I gotta do some. I gotta do something that just fits the oh, situation. Man. I gotta play something that fits the situation. Oh no. I need you guys to roll for initiative. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. For those of you that want to know what we're all about, it's like this, y'all. Come this is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% right? Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add you guys manually. Alone, in spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him, but fuck him, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, talks picking it up. Let's go. Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much, never concerned with status, but still even in starstruck. Humble through opportunities, given despite the fact that many misjudge him because he makes a <laughs> from writing rap. Hey, it's a good choice of song, right? Never asking for someone's help, but it gets some respect. He's only focused on what he wrote. His will is beyond reach. I was actually digging more of the Shadow of the Colossus. Oh man, that would have been good too. Clear, cause Ryu was ill. Who would have thought he'd be the one that set the West in flames? And I heard him wreck it with the crystal method name of the game. Came back, dropped Mega Death, took him to church. I like bleach, man. Ryu had the stupidest verses, dude. It's the truth. Now everybody giving them guest spots and stocks through the roof. I heard all right, so Steel Brew is a 19. Chaplin is a 18. Yep. Challenger. Uh, she's got a 24. The Goliath. That's a... That's a 17. And the Cloud Giant. <laughs> Seven. All right. So the challenger goes up first. As you hear this guy's mighty roar, you see him like draw his blade. You see him draw his mighty blade. And you see the challenger just basically rush up to attack the cloud giant. And that's gonna hit. Ah! Alright, that's pretty good damage. No limits. Uh, you see the challenger basically cut at the ankle of this giant. It's still standing, I swear, obviously. I swear, I would become the next log. Alright, so, Steel Brew, it's your turn. I swear, I did really do it. Okay. I am just gonna check something real There's quick. All I can do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and use one of these. Ah, uh, that hits. Just become the next log. And for how much damage? Yes. Nine. Not bad. Nice, mate. Uh, Chapter. You, you charge. I'm not. I know. I'm terrible. 
Uh, you charge up, steel brew, and you basically- My captain, my captain. You basically hold it like a- How you would hold a tree cutting axe. And you basically chop into the ankle <laughs> of the giant. <laughs> Uh, Chaplain, it's your turn. Alright, so when I level up, I gain a new ability, the multi-attack, which means I just attack it twice in a row. So, yeah, I'm just gonna smash his toe in twice. Oh, by the way, this uh, Cloud Giant is female. Smash her toe in twice. <laughs> well, actually, no, hold on. Let me... Actually, I'd like to keep my distance a bit. I'm not gonna do anything. Actually, I'm gonna write. I'll just uh, delay my turn. All until, right. I'll just delay my turn. Uh, hold on. I need to look up something real quick. Now, where were the giants? Found it. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh. Alright. So, cha Chaplain, you're delaying your turn? Yes, I am. Alright. You see this Goliath warrior basically jump up, run up the giant's body. As it goes into to, as it goes into attack her, and he's gonna hit. That's a nineteen plus four, so that's twenty-three damage. And that's his first attack. You see him basically impale this giant as he runs up. He's just letting the blade do the work. As he hits again. Uh, not as impressive damage as the last one. But, uh... Yeah, it definitely looks hurt. Executor. He does his mantra. Yeah. Shield. The giant is still up, by oh. the way. Our shield. I am the hand. I am his enforcer. You will know his might. Right. And as he, just as he just charges in with blazing blue eyes, and just tosses a fireball at uh, fireball at this uh, female giant. Alrighty, I literally aiming a fireball at this giant's face, pretty much. Let me see if she dodges it. 15 decks. She's... She's saved! I actually rolled a 15 for her! Stop that! Okay! As you basically let loose this fire... Uh, bolt. Uh, she basically just tilts her head tor slightly towards the right... It ignites on her her hair, kind of ignites, but comes back as a cloud fluffiness. So yeah, well that was a waste. That was a wasted uh, spell slot. <laughs> I didn't expect her to dodge it though. That's a good third level spell slot wasted. <laughs> Fletcher, it, it's up to you. Uh, well, 
if there's one thing we can rely on, it's Fletcher to to hit a bitch in the face with a with an arrow. Please don't roll. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Imagine. All right, roll for an attack. He's just gonna shoot this bitch in the face. I swear. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Yeah. You shoot her in the eye. Yeah. You see Fletcher just conjure his bow, but then instead of drawing instead of like you know drawing an arrow. Just yeah, I got her in the eye. And guess what? <clears throat> All right. Stim blade. Yep. Uh, okay, so. Alright, make another attack. Uh, oh, wait, you already did. Yeah, that also hits. You hit her in the uh, cheek at uh, that time around. Yeah, so uh, that's about 18 damage. Yeah, you guys are playing into her. But now it's her turn. Okay, here we go. Yeah. You see her pull out what looks to be a morning star, and it's roughly the. It's pretty. It's pretty big. Shit. Is it the actual stat block, or did you make this? Where was she hiding? Somehow. It actually just appears from thin air. No! Are you using the actual stat block? Yes. Okay, okay so you know about the innate spellcasting and such. Yep. And since so she Let's has multi-action, she's gonna probably do a few things. And she's got two attacks. Yeah, I know. Anyways, I'm I'm literally just reading off the stat block. She's gonna You're attack. Not. She's gonna attack. Let's see, who's it within ten feet of her as of current? I know, Executor and Steel Brew are as well as the Challenger and. Uh, no, Executor threw a fireball. He didn't. Okay, so in there. he just charged in enough to where he was within range. Yeah, I'm gonna say you're within thirty feet of her, so Yeah. Because uh, again, he all he did yeah, what he did was just like toss a fucking fireball at her face. Um, that's a twenty four to hit you, Steel Brew. Fuck and of course, and of course, and of course, Fletcher is pretty far away too because you know, one, yeah, one, and five plus eight, so seven plus eight, fifteen damage, fifteen Shit. damage to you, Steel Brew, fifteen. Yeah. Oh. God damn it. What's your HP like? Okay, I'm down. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm you're down. You're a level barbarian, aren't you? Yeah, you're supposed to be a level 7 barbarian. Yeah, I was about to say. Did you roll shit? I didn't even know I was supposed to be a level 7. I placed oh. it. I placed it in the Discord chat. Dude, you gotta keep up with these type of things, dude. Hold on. You didn't know you're gonna be a level seven barbarian, yet you're okay with going against a cloud giant. I don't think you knew what a cloud giant is. A cloud giant is practically like near end game. Well, not end game, end game, but just it's pretty close. Yeah, like it's like early to mid. Yeah, I'm not yeah, an good. avid D and D player. All right, all right. So, it's not that it's not that you have to be avid D and D player. It's just that you should 
All we could say is that you should have been aware, at least. Yeah. But that's the we can fix that. That's your fault. <clears throat> I'll put a, I'll put that as a reminder whenever we level up. That's okay. This actually, can you, maybe you should put that as a DM for Michael be, because he might not have no. Maybe the no, notification might not work for Discord on him. At least not on his side of the channel. Uh, yeah. I don't. I think he just doesn't see it. Yeah, DM can. Anyways, you know, you know point that out. Anyways, uh, that's her first attack. She's going to attack... I was going to attack twice, and you did that. No, she... Oh, wait, she only attacked once, though. Now, how do you explain the 15 damage? You said, like, 7 plus 8. Uh, yeah. Uh, her morning start does a 3d8 plus 8. Ah! Uh, that's it. Anyways. Okay, yeah, 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 you confused me there. Yeah, that, that was kind of my bad. Anyways. She's gonna attack... She's gonna attack Challenger. Let's see, 7 plus 12. Watch her get whiffed by... Yeah, watch her get whiffed by uh, Challenger. Uh, she misses Challenger. Yeah, watch as the Challenger just utterly whips this Cloud Giant. Alright, so... That's the Cloud Giant's turn. Cannot wait to see Challenger just whip this Cloud Giant into submission. And she's gonna hit it! That's 8 plus her modifier. Okay... Yeah, this giant is not looking too well. Like, at all. Yeah. Oh, Challenger is kind of scary. Alright, so... No, that is really scary. Deal, Brew, I need you to make a death saving throw. And I'll probably fix your character sheet later. Yeah, that would probably be wise. Uh, 10, that's a pass. Alright, so... Chaplain. I'm doing a lot of noise in the background. It is your turn. Uh, Chaplain. All right, come on me. All right, like, since uh, this thing's been uh, attacking my like, so I suppose I go up to it and just use the sharp end of my shield and just shank it in and ankle uh, Achilles. Hey, hold on. I need to see if you guys actually killed it real quick before. Let's see, nine. She passed that. Seven, eleven. So I need to see how much damage she's got dealt with real quick, and then I'll get back to the turn. Okay. Nine. Seven. Seven. Yeah, you guys barely made it. Oh, wait. And I also need to add in his damage, which I think was a 20, uh, so 27 plus 23. Oh, wait. Uh, can you move, mute your mic when you're doing, uh, messing around in the background? So that's, Be quieter now. Uh, so that's 50. And I don't remember the uh, challenger's damage. Okay. Uh, chaplain, go. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna shank, shake the giantess uh, heel twice with the sharp end of my shield. Yep. Ooh. Oh! Okay, first one hits. Second one misses. How bad? Did, how bad? Um, the credit. Roll me a flat one d eight. Silver, I will give. I will show you the crit table, and you can use it if you want. Oh, I plan on it. Okay, you. Um, okay, you stumble. Here is the link to the crit table. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Jay, Chaplin. As soon as you stick your uh, sharpened steel uh, shield into the knee, uh, into the ankle area, not the knee, because, you know. Yeah, the heel. Yeah. Uh, as you go in to do it again, as you go to pull it out, it gets stuck, and you fall over, and you're now prone. Ouch. Okay. Do I still have my shield, though? Uh, no. The shield is currently Thanks. within the uh, ankle of the giantess. Dang it. Alright. Keeping up with yeah, damage. It's over you. Next time you get a crit, next time we get a crit that involves an attack, use the crit table. Yep. Yep. On it. The link for it is in the thing. Yeah, I I'm re currently looking at it. Alrighty. So yeah, remember a crit happens or like a crit fail or a crit success. Yep. yep. All right. So All right. it is the Goliath's turn. That's gonna hit. Let's see, that's 10 plus 4, so 14. Well, at least it's past bloodied. Uh, guys? Yeah. At least it's, well, it's kind of getting to bloodied anyways. Anyways, and here comes his next attack, and that's going to miss. Uh, you see him basically swing this sword as he basically comes back down and basically lets the sword just do a uh, cut into this giant test as he basically slides down. As he goes in for another jab, uh, it, he lands on his feet very properly. This giant has the Goliath's mother. Uh, you guys don't know. Yeah, isn't that what a Goliath is? Like half, like half human, half giant? I don't remember. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm pretty uh, sure it is. Executor, it's your turn. Yes. He's gonna he's just gonna firebolt it in the face. Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> I rolled the D hundred. Alright, fifty six. Uh I'm both tired. Uh, you are dazed. Fall or drop your primary weapon and you'll be stunned for one round. So, literally, I just, like, have a... So, maybe, like, so I, I just, like, yeah. momentarily distracted and end up panning and it just... Yeah, she... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were still... You're still blinded from the flash from earlier... 
and, and it's just like coming back with a vengeance. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even have to draw on that one. Alright, Fletcher, it is your turn. Uh, Fletcher. Don't fuck. <laughs> don't miss. Or don't fuck. 23, that hits. Uh, that also hits. Uh, just putting, inputting the damage. Right. Oh, she's almost bloodied! And all almost. on top of that... On top of that... I am going to... Where is it? it yeah, here it is. Alright. So... Okay. And, uh... Do this. Uh, hold on. Uh... A uh, birthing arrow. Yep. Uh, um, that hits just. Oh yeah! All right, so roll me two d six. Two d six force damage, and since cloud giant, she's nothing but ten feet. The extra two d six from the ten feet from ten feet of herself. Yep. Because he's a giant. Yep. Uh, two d six. I got something real quick. I believe. I believe arcane shot. I can't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to do extra damage by itself. Yeah. Uh, it says you can make take an additional action. That's the action surge. No, no I mean... Uh, I mean that itself is also supposed to do bonus damage. I don't think it says okay. Alright. Uh, roll me a... About, uh, anyway. Roll me 2d6. She takes the 9, and then she's going to take the 2d6. Ah, fuck. So that's uh, 17. Uh, you shoot her where her heart would be, and she's... You see her starting to bleed from th that arrow wound. I literally like shoot an arrow at her and it explodes in magical force. Yeah, and she is not very happy right now. That's for sure. Yeah, that yeah, the first two arrows were about uh two were about a uh, twenty three plus seventeen. All right, so All right. I'm sure that's like forty damage, isn't it? Yep. Ouch! I do not expect her to be happy. Yeah, she's not happy. You see her reach her hand into the sky as clouds start to form overhead. As okay. we as we see lightning strike at her hand. I need everyone to roll dexterity saves. Yeah. Wait, that's not dexterity saves. You're a Uh... Oh, uh, Michael, you automatically fail since you're unconscious. Dude, that means he takes two. De that doesn't that mean he takes two deaths uh, on his death save because he got hit? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to roll for the other party members. All right. She's gonna pass. And he's gonna pass. Alrighty. So. Let's see. 
how much damage that does. I think it's a d10 for lightning. Maybe two? Eh, I'll go say two. Seven. Four. So, eleven. Okay, so anyone that did not save uh, gets 14 damage. Those that did get 7. Alright, who made the save and who didn't? Uh, everyone except Michael. Oh, wait. And Executioner. Uh, executor uh, failed? Yeah, Executor failed by just one. Uh, so, 14? Yeah, 14 points of damage. Alright, 39 minus 14 with 25. Alright. So, it is the Challenger's turn. Mm hmm. And she's gonna to hit the giant again. Mm -hmm. She's gonna hit the giant once more. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna hit. It's over. You better hope this giant has doesn't run away. Because I, I made, I made sure to give, I made sure to give Fletcher something that would make sure that nothing could run away from him effectively. Right. So yeah, you better hope this giantess doesn't start running. Yep, but she, she has a, she has an idea that she's going to do on her turn. Uh, Steel Brew, I need you to make two death saving throws. Okay, that succeeds. And one more. Oh! Okay, so you got two saves and two fails. fails. No. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, from the lightning. Yeah, that's that's from because. No, 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 no. Uh, ten or above means he passes. Nine or lower. Oh, when you take damage. No, when you're downed, like when you're in the down state and incapacitated with like zero hit points and all that, and you're making death saves. Yeah. yeah but you I'm... automatically get two failed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Failed saves. But oh. Two oh you got shit. Failed. That means uh. Yeah. Oh shit. Michael. No wait 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 wait. That's two fails. And okay, never mind. That means uh, it's still correct. Two saves and two fails. But you are basically oh. one hit point away from death until we fix up your character sheet. Oh, hold on. So Just wait until no, we... he got he, he got the, he got the damage, which means he got two fails. Yes, that a one. He no 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 no, no 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 no. I I read it. I I did it wrong. I know what I did wrong, and I'm fix and I fixed it. Yes. He does have two fails. No, he's not dead yet. He has Wait. one, two saves, two fails. His character's still Wait. alive, barely. I, Wait, I still have my delayed turn. Can I do uh, the turn? No, once it passed your turn, you you basically forfeit up to oh, turn. Shit, I forgot. Oh, oh man. Shit, I Wait. forgot that Executor has spared the dying. And I have another, another uh, thing that can... Uh, Anyways. I didn't expect him to go down that fast. Anyways, Chaplin, you're up. Well, here goes nothing. Inspire. I completely forgot. I completely forgot Executor had uh, Spare the Dying. Uh, temporary hit points don't count as healing. He's still no. knocked out. You need to give him no, actual keep hit reading. points. Keep on reading. Keep on reading. Let's Those see. who are dying will come back from near death with one health left. Left. That oh. means people who are on death's door. 
okay. as Michael is on death door. All right, all right, all right. Allow me to describe the scene. How, what do you say in these moments as he's passing? Well, here's what I say. I speak in my old tongue, or at least my people's tongue, which roughly translates to get back up, which is a slightly lengthy process. As in, there's way more, I speak, speak way more syllables than we speak in English. All right. So essentially, I just, yeah, I just yell at him, get back up in my people's uh, Steel Brew, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. You see a bright light at the end of a, what looks to be a very long tunnel. As you go towards it, you hear, you hear, it is not your time. Rise up, my son, and fight forth, and go back into battle. Your job is not finished. As you awaken, uh, Steel Brew, with one hit point. Alright, and I'm gonna use my second, uh, second uh, action to apply uh, protection. <laughs> oh. I thought, okay. I thought was the my wayward son. Oh, for a second, I thought it was a free action. All right, never mind. So I cannot provide a uh, protection bonus. All right, so yeah. carry on. All right, so it is his, it's the Goliath uh, warrior's turn. And he's going to hit. Just. I got something hilarious. I'm going to play something hilarious if it's. Oh, I hate you right now. <laughs> C9. 13. <laughs> that was literally, that was literally super situation. Alright, so. He's gonna attack again. That was literally the situation, you know? And he's going to hit. You're playing in the background. Oh! 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 Damn! Damn! Oh, shit! Alright, so 19 plus 4. So that's twenty-three. Yeah, this giant is not looking too hot. Executor. It's your turn. Ooh. Executor. Ah. Uh, yeah, that was literally that was literally Steve Blue Bruce situation. It was just Kansas. Yep. Go uh, carry right. on my wayward son. Literally his situation, and it was hilarious. All right, so executor, it's your turn. I am bored. That misses. He's really missing, man. He's really whipping with these spells. Yeah, I don't think a single spell of yours has landed on her. Yeah, Fletcher's turn. It is now Fletcher's turn, the MVP of the fight. I mean, you guys have been doing some serious damage to her. And especially Fletcher. He's been doing pretty much what you could consider guaranteed damage. Mm-hmm. Because it because yeah, he's pretty much doing guaranteed damage. Yep. Uh roll the hit. That hits. Oh. Interesting blade. 
So yeah, nineteen damage. All right. Oh God. I should probably just keep it at this. All right. So this giant's almost dead. Yeah, thirsting blade. Uh, what? Thirsting blade. Uh, what does that do? Uh, if it. It allows, it's what allows me to do the two attacks. Ah, okay. It's the Clouds Giant's turn. Clouds Giants? Uh, yeah, I haven't came up with her name. Clouds Giants. Okay, so what is she going to do? Uh, yeah, apparently her name's Clouds. I think I know what she's going to do. You see her start become more cloud-like. Ooh, gas, yeah. Yep. As you see the clouds starting to rise up into the sky. And it only needs 13. Yep. Oh, man, what does, what yep. does gaseous form do again? I... Call a glass a gas it up. Don't recall what it does. Uh, let me look it up. So you transform you transform a will and creature you touch along with everything it's wearing and carrying into a misty cloud. And it creature er, drops to zero hit points. An incorporeal creature isn't affected. Arm the target's only method of movement is flying and feet. Target can enter and occupy a space of another creature. Resistance to non-magical damage and has advantage on strength decks and con saving throws. Target can pass through small holes, narrow openings, and even mere cracks. As yeah. though it, it, they were solid surfaces. Um, as, you see her uh, as you see her become this gaseous form, you see... Th this form start to rise up. And he'll, he can't actually still take damage from magic and, stu and such. Yeah, but it's rising way too quickly before magic can even reach her. Uh, she's going back. Um, to not for not for a magical not for a magical heat seeking arrow. Yeah, but it's she's going pretty high up. It's a it's a heat it's a seeking arrow. It's not gonna kill. It's not gonna, gonna kill. It's not gonna hit hit her because it's a gas. And even if no, it, no, it, no, it, no, she's immune. She's she's resistant. No, it's like um, let me see. Let me read it again. I'm gonna read it again because yeah, it says. Hold on. Not, she's not immune to the damage. Yeah, she's not immune to the damage, but uh, that will hit her. Yeah. As long as long as it as long as yeah, she has resistance to non-magical damage, and since my and since my arcane arrows, since my arcane ammunition like conjured arrows count as a magical attack. Yes, I know. I'm aware. But basically, oh, you guys almost killed her. Uh, she is. I guess what? I can still do one more. Uh, no, you can't. Yeah, I can. Two attacks. Yeah, but you already had your turn and whatnot yeah. earlier. Yeah. And unless you did an accident, sir. And even then, it wasn't even your turn. Okay. Uh, as this second arrow lets loose, uh, she's far too high up for the arrow to... Oh, yeah, the seeking arrow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Seeking arrow also does bonus damage. Even then, does it kill her? Eleven? Yeah, that 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 eleven that eleven that's on top of that. But that doesn't hit her. Uh, that that no. last one does not hit her because she's too far high up. 
how far how far is she? Thousand feet. How far is the clouds to Earth? Oh. Yeah, she's rising. Like I said, she was rising very quickly. You can only move ten feet in with gaseous form. Yes, you can, but somehow you don't feel like this is a normal okay. gaseous gaseous form. Okay, let's assume oh, this is a normal gaseous form. She cast the spell Hold gaseous on. form. Hold on. Will, will, there's will. Okay, will, will, please, will. He's fair right. around me, dude. What? What? And he doesn't want this giant to die for some reason, so he's railroading some bullshit reasons on why we can't kill it. No, I'm saying that she has a custom spell oh. that works exactly like gaseous form that allows her to move way faster. No. That's Hundreds. not... You can't do that. Yes. Giant? Dude. Alright, okay, fine. So She's same... fucking dead. There, you happy? Uh... uh... What, should we take a break right now? Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's say twenty minute break. Actually, during make it thirty minutes. Uh, yeah. Of, yeah. All right. Warm. Fuck. That will end the combat session, and we'll get back after the break. Mm -hmm. All right. Done. I'll uh, I'll just look up for some Elf Aider music.
All right, all right, all right. I'm back. Hello? Okay. I'm here. All right. I did read the official rules, and Will was right. I apologize. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the drama, but... <clears throat> Don't Wait, worry. Before we continue... Okay. Before so... we continue... Before we continue, guys... Are we okay with how it might resolve in the end? Uh, Are we willing to concede um, on, with each other? I'm okay. I'm okay All as right. well. It's just All that right, so <laughs> it was kind of a dumb idea anyways, and I figured it would cause some backlash. So I... Already getting rid of that custom spell. Okay. It's all right. Okay. No one holds anything against you. Not even me. All right. <clears throat> For so, moment thing, okay? Giant being killed. Let's get ready. All right. So, the giant gets about 20 feet into the air as the last arrow gets lodged from your bow. And she turns back to her normal form. And crashes downwards. Oh my god, that's a big ass earthquake. Yeah, the ground shakes a bit. Oh crap, my shield. Yeah, your shield is. Oh. Well, actually, because she turned into the gushless form, it basically falls out. Oh, okay. But nice. she lands right back on top of it. <coughs> <laughs> well, she was going straight up, so... Okay, fine. Oh. You can still mm. grab it. Alright, I'm going to try to grab it. And you hear from the glove. <sighs> ah, another giant down. Another giant... That's another one for Gasha. Why do you fight a giant? Why do you fight giants? Someone's gotta keep the status quo. The status quo? What is the status quo? <clears throat> okay. Some years back, there was this giant horde, right? Alright. Entire city was wiped out. Oh. Yeah, I was hired to basically, me and some others, we are the Giants. I'm a member of the Giant Slayers. This one wasn't really causing a whole lot of trouble, but uh, need to get rid of. Oh, I see. I can't believe I killed a giant. Yes. Uh, he actually goes over to you, Fletcher, and he goes, Well met! Well, fell Archer, I could have done it better myself. He just kind of slaps I... you on the back, just like giving you the whole soldier escapade. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that kind of thing. And, yeah, and he just takes it like a champ, because he is used to that type of thing. Uh, if we could use more archers like you. Hi. As as the bow just disappears from his hand. We could use more archers like you in our ranks. Hey, what are you? Well, I hope you have nothing against the magic because uh. Oh no no no! We're actually oh. fought. We actually have magic casters and, and whatnot within our ranks. Hey, well, some magic. Thick, but I don't really use it. I just use the I just use the ball. <laughs> a physical man. I, pr I prefer the martial prowess over knowledge. Yeah. Anyways, I'm Gash. That was my first time killing a giant. It was uh, quite interesting. Anyways, my name is Gasha. Nice to meet all of you. Whatcha? He shakes your hand very well, and it's very firm. 
Uh, the same goes and, for anyone else that shaves his hand. Yep, I'm gonna. Charlie's gonna get, re return a firm I'd, handshake. Well, I, I'm I'm gonna try. Yeah, Fletcher's gonna try to match the handshake, and he fails. Yeah, this guy easily overpowers you as far as strength goes. All right. Considering that he basically fights giants. Yeah. Anyways, I better report back. Hey, you want your shield back? He's looking at you, Chaplain. I will take my shield back. Uh, you see him effortlessly lift up the giantess's leg, grabs out your shield, and tosses it towards you. I, I catch. Actually, I'm going to make a dexterity save. Yeah, you, catch, right, it. Catch. you catch it with ease. Alright. It actually lands where okay. you had it last. Nice. That's gonna be... Yeah, pull this, some this party guy, trick right there. Yeah, this guy... This guy knows his shit. When it comes to fighting and whatnot. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> As such, I will not do the nod that all warriors do. And nod towards the warrior in front of me. He goes, Now then... Where was that fire giant? Speaking of fire giants, you say you hunt giants, right? Yes. There is a great gigantic sword in a meadow. I in uh, Charlie points in a general direction of where he he uh, where the sword in metal was. You got any inkling what that might be? Oh, that that's the memorial to. To a very good warrior. A giant... That uh, giant in particular was pretty okay. <laughs> Alright. Generally and... speaking, giants like to eat people alive, tear up the farms, destroy homes. You get the idea. That one mm. did really like hurting people. But he was really good at fighting. And hey. such, when, so to me, there, Bucko. Anyway, story goes is that he teamed up with some heroes some eight hundred years ago and sacrificed his life to save all Thedas. I see. That's the <laughs> story that people tell. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem w exactly well kept. Oh yeah, no giant dares touch it. They kind of see it as a sign of disrespect, considering that he's buried there. Hmm, I assume so. Well, I thank you for speaking such histories, warrior. But right now we are on a quest to, again, once rescue Datus from that demon. Or some sort of demon lord. Mm. Well, best of luck to you. You and your compatriots. Yes. And best of luck to you, to your expeditions. Farewell. Uh, you see him go off in a random direction. Uh, he went uh, southeast direction. He's not going anywhere right. near towards the town. Looks like he's after something else. Yeah, well, we're going to be going to the labyrinth now. But before right. we travel again, I'm going to tend to uh, st steel brew's wounds. Speaking of steel brew... Uh, you patch him up as best you can. Uh, steel brew... Here you go. Let's see... Uh, what's even your level? Level six. Um. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You had a total of fourteen hit points, and you're were a level six. I don't think he knows know how his hit points work. <laughs> hit point fourteen, level six, fourteen barbarian. <sighs> 
<laughs> what? Glass cannon, boy. Glass oh, cannon, barbarian. Dear lord, that's terrible. Glass cannon, barbarian, boys. Okay, that looks like it's a uh, first level it, health right there. For, it's, it's, it's the I legend of the glass. Can it's the legend of the glass cannon barbarian. So. Well, maybe not glass cannon, but glass teacup. Glass teacup barbarian boys. Hold on. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if that's a much of an improvement. Ow! One! Ow! Oh, that's painful. Of course, I didn't add the two as well to all that, so... I cannot help... I cannot help... But I feel bad for this whole barbarian. So what's his con mod? Uh, his con mod would be plus two, and that's six, so... What? That's six, uh, d12, so... Plus, alright, so two times six. So, twelve hit points. Dude, why is your con so low? It's only 14. How do you get that low a con for a barbarian? I don't know how he does. I think... Dude, uh, it is truly the tale of the glass cannon barbarian. No, he's not a black glass cannon, he's just a glass teapot. But oh no, Michael. Alright, oh. I'm Can updating... <laughs> I'm updating his health as of right now. Alright, Will, can you tell Michael I'm sorry for calling him a uh, glass cannon or a glass teacup? Alright, I've kind of fixed his. I fixed his sheet as best I can. That's what he's got to work with for right now until he gets something better. Or understands. Until he gets that boost. Until, until he gets that wreck me up. Yep. Alright. Alright, so... And I am stopping the music. Again. I just mute it. Yep. Alright. So... You guys continue uh, for... Uh, Surprisingly, nothing else interesting happens along the way. I miss. Uh, you guys are at the entrance of the... You guys are at the entrance... The Lonely Mountain? You guys are at the entrance of of the Labyrinth. Uh, you see what looks to be a very simple building... Uh... You see what looks to be just a small house, basically. It's very old, it's very, it's very run down. Oh, I just fix down that shit. Uh, the stairs are very obviously made out of stone and whatnot. Like, it's... It's the door. It's, kicks in the door. Uh, the door is already broken down. Like, most of the, like, the entire house is basically falling apart to the point to where the stairs are revealed. He kicks down what is there. Uh, yeah, you kick down, uh, you kick down part of the roof as you guys go down the stairs and steal part of the roof. Executor, I would have you to refrain from kicking down the doors. All we right. may be armored, but please let us try to be at least subtle. Alright. I mean, there's no one I here. Alright, all allow me to reveal the map as you guys head down the stairs. Uh, oh oh my god, is that textures for the, is that textures for the stairs? Yep. 
Oh my god! All right, so that's kind of normal stuff you can get. Yeah, thanks to the uh, assets that I was able to find, I'll, I just typed in literally stairs and just used that. All right, so Chaplin. Hey, 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 I got a quick question for everyone. Yes. Does anyone actually find it enter any entertain like anywhere near entertaining when, like, chat when the executor what goes from like this posh British accent? Uh, I will purify you. Uh, I would prefer. I, I think it'd be more entertaining if he was a girl that then she turns into a Hulk. <laughs> and and not just and not just the She Hulk. No, he just turned into the Hulk. Uh, well, kind of. It is like a posh British guy, and whenever he goes into combat or potentially dangerous dangerous scenario, he just goes from like, oh yes, chip chip perio. I will purify you. All right. So, so allow me to describe this room as to the best of my ability. I just kind of find it entertaining whenever he's in a dangerous situation. He goes from uh, well, yeah, well, uh, all right. As you guys come down to the stairs and you find yourself in a flat room. Uh, you see a door to your immediate right, mostly stone walls. Ooh. Well, it looks to be in parts of a bridge uh, in front of you guys across a thousand foot uh, a crevasse or something like that. You see, yeah, what's, with all these, what's with all these thousand foot across, thousand foot deep pit, man? Yeah, they... they well, there's actually a reason behind that, and it's because of the whole uh, Kundar thing. Okay. Uh, actually, Executor, roll history for me. With advantage. Hey, why with advantage? Because this would have definitely been in the history books. Uh, 15. Oh, wow, that's lucky. Yeah, that's super lucky. That's like a natural one and then the 15. Okay, so your memories as far as like uh, being part of the chapel. Uh, you do remember... <clears throat> you remember stories that Kundar was starting to destroy the world and some rip... And it was starting to rip from the inside out. So sometimes when it and some of them were so large that it caused entirely new countries, and some of them were just about a thousand feet across. Mm. Okay. But basically, he almost destroyed this entire world. Hmm. Anyways. Good to know. That's what you know. Okay. Uh, Champlin, as you get cro uh, closer to the edge to where this old bridge used to be, uh, roll me your perception check, because you guys don't... You may have seen a figure out in the distance, but I want to see if you guys could see it clearly. Mm. All right. That's Executor. Yep, he's going to notice what it is. Watch Fletcher get a one. Oh, never mind. Okay, so every so Executor, you're the only one that notices. Uh, everyone else, you're like, what is that over there? Uh, Executor, you see what looks to be a podium over in the corner. You see what looks to be the heart fragment. You see what looks to be a minotaur. Off, uh, just standing there with his with the axe by its side, just. Wait, are minutes one of the large creature? Yeah, cool. they are. Uh, my bad. Remember? Yeah, uh, that makes the, no, yeah. Oh. There we go. There we go. Wow, we got a shield. Wow, that's a, not broken. Uh, you see what looks to be a minotaur just relaxing. Uh, kind of leaning. 
up against the wall back here. And it looks, uh, that's about all you see across. Across the way. I want to take a moment and say that I like the fact that how Executor, a skeleton with no eyes, can see a thousand feet away and none of us can. Well, his eyes, well, the thing is, the reason he can see is because. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Magic. Anyway. In fact, I actually, have an improved ver I actually have an improved version of uh, Dark Vision because I'm a skeleton. Oh, yeah. Well, I yeah, mean, you know how usually when you got dark vision, you can only see sh shades of gray. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, well, he can see my color. My eyesight is powered by magic. Yeah. I can actually see color in the dark. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, I understand. I just want to point out the irony. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, does the executor comment on any of this? I believe. I believe we have a minotaur to deal with. Uh, does anyone else react, or...? No one reacts to the fact that he just said Minotaur. Yeah. What, what, what is a Minotaur? Think of a bull mixed with a bird! Oh, so... So, Hostos. Never mind. They're the same thing, apparently, in here. So, tell me more about these minotaurs. Are they bipedal hooves? Have ox heads? He basically, explained, he basically explains minotaurs. Oh, so I see. The males. Very well, well, we should... Uh, you do know that the, it's yeah. just relaxing. It seems to be tossing something... In the air, but you can barely hear it, uh, Executor. Oh, it sounds like a coin. Like, mm. looks like he was just, looks like he's just bored. Mm. He well, yells then. across the, yells across the, the thousand foot across pit. We are coming to slay you! We're coming to slay you. We're coming to slay you. And it falls on deaf ears because it's a very far distance. It's basically an open room. Thaumaturgy. Mm. Well, Wait, what's the distance with thaumaturgy? Uh, I thought it was 300 feet with thaumaturgy. Hold on. Hold on, let's read. Let's read. I'm reading. Three times as loud. Okay. Uh, everyone hears what? something in their mind. Go through the maze and see if you're worthy. Is this the Minotaur? Yeah, the Minotaur is speaking to you telepathically. How? How? You don't know. How? You can ask okay. him. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's not gonna ask him. All right, Charlie just goes up to the edge and just asks him, like, yells out to him in the, like the blank darkness. This is like, you sound oddly serene. Uh, he's gonna speak in your mind. Uh. He goes, your compatriot wants to fight. Me? I'm just bored. Are you the protector of the maze? I was. Then I got bored. Came up here. Oh. So... Do you want to leave this place? Oh, I can leave any time. I just have to... Push the button on my sign. That's a bit handy. Well then, I suppose we will try to see if we are worthy. 
you do you are aware that what we're after is the heart, the heart, the pure heart, the pure heart. Yes. Uh, yes. So much like the many adventurers that came before you, and so many on and so on and so on. So, what were they here for? They're here for the hearts, but what was their reasoning? We're here to, I suppose, defeat a demon lord. What was that? To bring back said demon lord. Ah. Uh, well, if how the, the tables I see it. If the heart was the. There are two hearts the chaotic heart and the pure heart. The chaotic card is already given to was given to the monster known as Kundar. But can, we just, can we just please go through the maze? Uh yeah, you guys go through All the right. maze. All so right. just guys... Yeah, yeah. You can... Yeah, you guys can go ahead a bit. I'll just finish up this. All right. So he's. Like, tell me the story of the Chaos Heart and the Pure Heart. Yep. Uh, he tells you and, that uh, the Pure Heart was created because of the Chaos Heart. I see. Well then. Oh no, I don't have my tokens. Okay, well then. I, the I'll end the... Me. Yeah, I'll end the conversation with a thank you. Uh, I suppose we'll see you at the end. Good luck. I lost my tokens. I don't even know where you put where those tokens. How do you how do hey, you lose you your tokens? Alright. So as you go down the you stairs and catch up. Hmm? You can't see it through the fog of war. Uh huh. Weird. Anyways, as you guys go downstairs. Um Oh my god, this is huge. Uh, allow me to reveal the entire map. This is rather huge. Ah! Elk, shite! Shiteberg! I got out of the cave for some reason! Man, it's so big! I literally gotta go to 10 to see all of it. Yeah, I'm when I when I said that my dad made this, I was not joking. Damn. He went well, over. I mean, not the fuck with your dad when it comes to mazes. Like, remind me not to fuck with your dad when it comes to mazes. Yep. Even I don't want to mess with my dad. That and if he if he's feeling up to it, if he can create a maze for me, um, I can see if he can make a maze for you. That be, I wouldn't I... mind if you would. Oh dear lord! Well then. Okay, so here's how this one's gonna work. You see the. I uh... You see the uh, party? The you see this icon right here? Yeah. Can you yeah. guys move it real quick, just as a test? Just move it to one space uh, forward. Thank you. All right, done. Now here's how this works. You can only move that six uh, spaces. Okay, I see the exit. Yep. You can only move that right, six think... spaces right. per turn. Also, okay, we got her. Every turn you make, you must make a wisdom saving throw. Also, for every turn you make, you must ro roll a flat 1d20. There are no monsters within the dungeon, it's just for something else that's in here. Uh, okay, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm currently going I'm currently going through it with my mouse cursor. Alright, let me try to repeat what you just said, alright? So, every turn, wisdom save... And every six turn, D twenty. No, 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 no. You move every, you move six spots per turn. Okay. 
I'll write th write th that down in notes. This represents basically 30 feet, since the overall speed movement for y'all's group is about 30 feet altogether. So, okay, you guys can split up. This is just an easier way for me to track. All right. Now, for every turn, make a wisdom saving throw. And it'll get progressively harder the closer you get to the exit. Okay. I literally just finished. All right. Second. I went, the, through, I went through the entire thing with my mouse cursor, and it's actually not that bad. Oh, trust me, the original is way worse. The original, <laughs> wait, wait, this is a watered down version. Yeah, this is based off of that. Dang. Mainly because I made the map too small, but work with what I got. Right, but yeah, that's, it's actually not that bad. This is actually quite simple. Yep, it just looks complicated. Yeah, like I've actually been, I've actually done plenty of mazes in my spare time, and yeah, this is this is pretty mediocre. Okay, well, again, you were going on. You were saying. Uh... Anyways, at the end of each of these turns, uh, roll flat one d twenty. Uh, the one thing, uh, actually. Chaplain, your map uh, doesn't show the maze, but it shows that there are not one, but two heart fragments in this place. Hmm. Well, actually, no, wait, I messed that up. Never mind. Ignore the idiot. Okay. Uh, well, that idiot is the DM. We can't ignore it. Alright, so, begin. Uh, we can only move 30 feet at a time. You guys can only move uh, 30 feet at a time. Well, what if, well, what if that? What if one of us is a is a wood elf and and uh, leading through? Remember, we can split our party up. Yeah, you guys could still split up. It just well, Fletcher, right now, well, Fletcher's gonna go on it. Well, well, Fletcher has the ability to go slightly more ahead, so that's what he's gonna do. Okay, and it's a be and basically scout. every time we and ever and uh, basically every time we move we do a wisdom save. Yeah, basically well basically at the end of your movement. Alright. Alright. Well, yeah, Fletcher's gonna go slightly ahead, so let's see. Alright, sure. that's pretty dangerous, uh, dangerous game. Okay. So he's gonna Well, it's only slightly ahead. He's only he's only got like five extra feet, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's I mean just he a... can still build... It's just representing the general area that you guys are in. Okay, but he can still like travel up with the party. Yeah. Right. But yeah, uh, so yeah, Fletcher is right here, and everyone else is right here. All right, let's make that so. All right. Yeah, and yeah, Fletcher is only like one square. Actually, would you, mind, uh, Will, yeah, would you mind, Will? Yeah, don't worry. I'm on it. I'm yeah, on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, okay. oh I was about Sorry, to do bro. it. But yeah, this is a very, very large map. In fact, I'm going to scroll in. That's how much detail there is. Eh, I was. I'm actually. I can actually see pretty much everything at thirty percent. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it's not that bad. Everyone. With them saving. Wisdom saving throw. And don't worry, it's this very lo Fletcher. low at this point. Alright, well, that's Fletcher. Mm hmm. And here comes the Executor. Watch him fail. <laughs> oh! Fail. You lied! <laughs> executor! Damn! You guys feel something <laughs> trying to enter into your mind. Uh, everyone make an Arcana check. Okay. Executor is gonna make Arcana. Executor got 11. Fletcher. Uh, Fletcher. Fletcher's gonna make an Arcana. He's gonna get it too. Yeah, none of you guys know what this is. You feel like you're being watched. 
It's not well, no, something. She... It's not something extreme, but uh, there feels like something in here with you. Even though you guys know that the Minotaur is upstairs. Alright, Fletcher is right here. Fletcher is right here. Party would be right. Well, the party could go be there. Or right here. Uh, oh, chaplain and executor, are you going to follow Fletcher? That's actually still good. There's no reason not to. Yeah, that's still good. See? All right. See, it's all, it, always, it goes to the same thing. You just don't go down to that third part. Uh, so, uh, yeah, wisdom saves? Uh, yep, wisdom saves. Fletcher is going to make his. That is Fletcher. Mm hmm. Watch, watch us just get a one eventually. Yeah, Executor. Oh! I called it! I called it! <laughs> Executor! Yeah. Technically, you... I wasn't lying. He was going to fail. Executor? You want to run? You see what looks to be monsters in front of you. Monsters that you've always seen in your nightmares. You want to run away. So, myself. Yeah, you can basically see yourself. Wait, quick question. I'm, a, I'm my own worst nightmare. Wait, uh, Silver, quick question. Yes. During our travel all the way to the maze, do is it considered a long rest? Uh, yes, you guys are fully rested. Okay, good. Because I have some uh, handy stuff to offset some things. Because it literally took you guys a week. You guys are rested. He will. Alright, so I'm going to go to... All right. <laughs> Watch, watch as someone, watch as we some, run into someone named Doctor Cut. Only Silver will get that. Hmm. Watch as we run into someone named uh, Doctor Cosmo. Ah. <laughs> All right. So while we are walking, I will do a battle chat. Okay. Wait. Wait, I got a quick question. So, yeah, seventh level paladin, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I... doesn't doesn't paladin get like an aura of something that provide that prevents uh, frightened? Of... In general, yeah, most most of them at least. Um, do you got that? Yeah, my battle chant and uh, like and my inspire, but that uh, is for combat. No, no, I'm talking about like a normal paladin class. Oh no, oh no, Charlie's a homebrew mm. for the most part, at least. Okay. The battle chant is meant to like, he it's like a um, uh, it's like a concentration. So as long as uh, uh, Charlie is chanting, you won't be. Uh, well, you won't drop your weapons and run. Mm. All right. So. Uh. So what's happening with the executor right now? Uh, executor, reroll your wisdom save. Okay. As you about to turn around and run, thanks to Chaplain's battle uh, chant, you feel yes. all inspired and you fight through your fear.
Oh shit! This is just it's a chant. It is what he sounds saying. Anyways, you might want to lower if you want. I am liking this. I think I might use that for a battle theme later. Hey, use it on the seat. I approve. Alright, so... Alright, so yeah, now you got a little bit of a taste of what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna use that for a battle theme. I approve. Anyways. Not Root, uh... Alright, Root, uh, sorry guys, I gotta go. I uh, gotta help Root. Alright, uh... I'm gonna oh, say okay. both Fletcher and Executor had to leave... For some no, reason, no, no, just, no, no, just no, basically do with that. No, just basically, um, in combat, make, uh, make Fletcher do uh, arrows, and uh, for for um, for um, executor in combat, if uh, if it's like if it's like a large enemy, then use like ranged spells. But if it's just like like little underlings and stuff, do melee attack with the mace. Yep. And, and make them act how you would think I would make them act. So don't make them leave, because I feel like uh, Chaplin's going to need them. Yeah, yeah, they're not leaving, they're just kind of getting back to the party, all right, Con? Right. Yep, all right. So, okay. Uh, hey, good luck with uh, helping out your friend. All right, here we go. All by myself. Don't want to be all by myself. Anyways, uh, you know what? Just to make this go faster, I'm going to let you go 60 feet. Oh, okay. I'm going to go right here. Yep. Make a wisdom save. You pass. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't find anything. All right. You pass. Do I keep on making D20s? Uh, no. Th that was just an accident on my end. Uh, I forgot that it's not actually within the maze. That was a mistake. Uh, basically right now okay. it's just kind of pointing you upwards. But, uh, right. you kind of notice that counting your four... And counting the ones that are left on the map, there's only seven. Only seven? Yeah. Mainly because the DM forgot to paste in the eighth one, but uh, the DM has a brilliant idea on how to fix that. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going. Yep. All right. Uh, another wisdom save. Pass. Alright. Alright. Wisdom save. Oof. Barely passed. Alright, I'm gonna keep chanting, regardless. Whoops. Yeah, you want to turn around and run. But All right, let's since you are doing the chant, I'll let you do it again. 
All right, do the wisdom save. Another wisdom save. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to leave. Right. Okay, here's what I do. Can you do. ignore it? All right, here's what I can do. Uh, let's see here. In my cast of powers, not powers, but okay, that's not it. Uh... Hmm. Oh no, that's just for my allies. All right. What's what if I say I try to ignore it? All right. You probably see in the back of your mind for now. And you kind of ignore the fear, and you can push on forward. All right, so my voice has faltered slightly. Yes. And if you fail again, something fun will happen. Okay. Because then... I failed! Oh! <laughs> We're all again. 999, boys. Yep. Oh. Okay, that one just barely skimmed. The, uh, save. Okay. You start hearing voices, whispers, as you get deeper and deeper within the maze. Oh boy. Here we go. My duties as a chaplain must mean I must stand my ground. Okay, you pass. Here we go. Yep. Oh, oh! That fails. Alright, let me try again. That failed. Alright. You start... The voices become more audible. You hear voices from long ago. You hear voices of the dam. The voices of the people's skulls you have crushed. You start to hear these voices almost constantly. You want to turn around and whatnot. Do you choose to ignore this? In fact, actually, uh, hold on. I have one more thing. One thing. All right. Okay. Hold on. Wait, what? Yeah, actually, I gotta take a moment to it's compare, compare and contrast something. All right. Please. I'm giving you the moment. Yeah, what I'm doing is uh, I actually took something from the regular D and D site, and I'm just comparing comparing to a classes. All right. All right. Okay. Everything's fine, apparently. All right. Yeah, I'll need to use unfaltering. All right. Uh, you managed to fight through this this fear and whatnot as it starts to kind of overwhelm you. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. Alright, here we go. Okay, oh. you pass. Good thing you did, because you were near a sanity right now. Alright, as you make it towards the exit, and you pass through the doors, you notice a lever. And you see what looks to be fear spell and it's very strong <laughs> all right so do i make a wisdom save try just to pull it yes and here we go moment of truth moment of truth watch i get a, a one you uh, fail all right do you... i roll again or that's it you can <laughs> roll again just for fun Okay, what's the same for fun? 
because... I get a worse one. <laughs> and that was really fun. You are you are too scared as you see... What is Chaplin's greatest fear? I believe his greatest fear would just simply be the destruction and the return of the old empire. Uh, and the old empire is just essentially like one giant slave trade all around. So he's just like his greatest fear is going back into slavery and his people going back into slavery. Yeah, you are actually seeing that. You feel it. As the as it becomes a little bit more physical, you're brought out of it. You see what looks to have been the lever has been flipped downwards. Someone's pulled it. And it wasn't any of your compatriots. I'm going to... I... I you... <laughs> you see the uh, slime. Just kind of... Near it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Charlie is just going to like... You know, crawl towards the slime and just give it a big old hug. Daddy... Okay, sure. Yeah, he's going to continue hugging it. Well, pro his party mostly goes on. All right. All right, so let's just say, like, after a big old hug, he's going to follow. All right, as you guys go back upstairs, uh, Fletcher leading the way, you guys find yourselves at the top. As you see the Minotaur just stand just waiting there. Oh, there you are. How are you not affected by the spell? It does not affect me. Why not? He just points to his head. Oh. I see, it's all in the mind, I suppose. Ugh, I suppose have we proven to ourselves worthy? Yes, you have. All right, I'm gonna make sure one of my hand is on Executor's shoulders. Yeah, Executor. Pulling him back. Executor is like, let me at him. All right. Uh, Fle same we should, goes for uh, Fletcher as well. Oh, okay. So I'm just both holding him by the neck. Uh, you see this Minotaur just go over to the podium. He grabs the heart fragment, he tosses it to you. He goes back to his position and he presses the button as you see the bridge start to reform. Huh. Well then, I suppose you get a kick at watching us, uh, watching fellow adventurers fail. Oh yes, but I I'm quite enjoyed it. I... Why yes, I quite enjoyed it. Huh. It's cute. To see you humans be so scared. I suppose there's nothing you might be frightened of. Nothing scares me. Not anymore. My apologies. If mm. I may, what happened? Uh, blessing, curse. Take your pick. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose if there's nothing we could talk about, we should be on our way now. Mm. I think I shall leave. My job here has passed. And besides, I know what in I know what lies at the end of the road. I've lived long enough to see to know that now. Mm. Wise words, I see. Well, uh, I roll an insight. Alright, I'll roll your insight check. Oh, damn, wow. that's 20. That's, that's actually kind of... That's pretty convenient. Damn. 
That's pretty good. Uh, you get a sense that he had this talk before. But he says, It's not Kundar you should be worried about. There's some big, there's some bigger picture that I cannot sense. And he's telling the absolute truth. This world and many other worlds are doomed. Is there anything we could do to change that? No. I think it's inevitable. My yeah. only guess is, is to use the pure heart. I wish you the best of luck. Well, if the world is all doomed, then I can hope from the ashes we can give the children of the ash the best shot they can get. Mm, I don't know what lies afterwards. Chaos, destruction, life, creation... I know not. I can only hope for the best. Good luck, mm. fellow travelers. You are on a difficult path. Yes. I can sense that. You can cut it through the air. He's not acting. He's... This is how he generally is. Hmm. Well, Charlie is going to nod and then walk off to finally eat the ruins. With his party. And that's where we'll end the session for tonight. Okay. So, complaints, criticisms? Mm, I can't say any complaints. All, the only thing I'm worried about is that uh, because uh, the only thing that wasn't bad was the fact that we could, you know, see, have an overview of the map of the maze. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to figure out how uh, to do that, uh, how to not to show you guys the entire map, but I was like, you know what, I might have to show the entire map. Yeah, because I felt like, oh man, I'm like I'm kind of being a, a douche for uh, exploiting the system. Yeah, that's more of a DM trying to be generous front. All right, okay. And that's pretty much all that I have. As for the little debacle between you and Will, uh, to be honest, I just, uh, yeah, I just wanted to... Yeah, like I said, uh, I kind of... I was looking up the rules, and yeah, he is right, and whatnot, so... But yeah. damn, Brilling is final, but I'm going to let it slide, and, got, and like I said, I'm getting rid of that, because that is a little too overpowered. Well, yeah, uh, like it's, it's a good thing we go. We're going back into the modern age eventually. Possibly, possibly not. Like I said, I'm leaving it up to. Hopefully, I'm leaving it up to a vote. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, actually, um, at the end, uh, we're gonna have a one shot ne next week. We're gonna live stream a one shot. Uh... As such, I. Oh. Are, are you talking to me? or? Yeah, you. Yeah. I'm talking to everyone. But regardless, I'm actually quite curious how this one shot will work. Are you comfortable telling us the stuff? Uh, it is a horror one shot campaign. It's not the web. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I want to try to touch the web, but it's something a little bit different. All right. Anyways, um, I... I'll okay. probably have to give you guys character sheets after the live stream ends and whatnot. All right. Which it's still going because I haven't ended it yet. But basically, uh, you guys are crew members of a ship that is being sailed at this on the of of Casti Seas. Uh, basically. Uh, Dawn is one of the New World settlements. It's a very large, very prosperous town. Uh, as for reference, basically there are 
like really big mountains that have a ton of materials inside of them. So it's a really good sized town and fertile lands. It's it's a really nice place to stay, basically. Anyways, uh, I think I'll have to give out a few more inf. I uh, think I'll have to give a few more invitations on a different channel, but I'm going to end it off. Okay. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, please do what you guys do. Like, follow, subscribe, whatever. And until then, I'll see y'all mates next time.